Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Monero and their new proof of work algorithm, which is going to be released tomorrow by the time you guys see this video. And I'm just going to show you guys some examples and, uh, you know, some hash rates and as well as, you know, how to mine random X. So I already have a test going here. And I'm recording on the same CPU which I'm doing the mining on so you guys may see that my hash rate on XMR rig right now is about half of what it should be and I do have a screenshot where I am getting about 4100 to 4200 hashes per second on my Ryzen 7 2700 8 core processor okay and you guys can see the the CPU utilization right now when I'm not recording or doing anything, just leaving it, you know, stand still, the CPU usage is about 60%, and I'm able to get 4,100 hashes per second, so it's really cool. And you guys can see my memory consumption right now. It's not too bad. I believe it's using about 2 gigabytes or 3 or 4 gigabytes uh, for mining random X. And you guys can see here, I have 32 gigabytes of motherboard memory. And the speed of the memory is 2,666 megahertz. And I know that the higher memory frequency that you have, the better, the better it is, and the higher hash rates you'll get. Uh, so I don't have any like 3,200 megahertz or 3,600 megahertz memory to try. But this is all I have right now: Ryzen 7 2700 that I'm gonna be mining Monero tomorrow. Okay, so if you guys are watching this video today, it's gonna happen November 30th. And okay, so I wanted to show you guys how to just basically mine random X. Okay, this is something that I believe probably a lot of you guys may have been testing already as random X is coming out tomorrow for Monero. And I've been using XMR or XM Rig. Okay, XM Rig here. They have the random X implementation here. And if you want to download it, I'll have the link down below. Okay. And I'm using obviously using Windows, so this is the version you'll have to download. They just updated it about 11 days ago as of making this video, and the version is 5.0.1. And I've been testing on the test.luxor.tech. This is the random X testing, uh, testing pool that I found on the subreddit of Monero Mining. And if you guys want to read more about Monero Mining and random X, I would check out this subreddit r slash Monero mining and it's it's really good there's a lot of good information here but also if you want to see your hash rates okay for your certain CPU that you have come check out this rep this website here randomx.monerobenchmarks.info and you guys can see a lot of the different hash rates here so for my testing I did do on a Ryzen 7 2700 currently right now uh, there's a 2700X here with the hash rate of about 5,000 or 5,100 hashes per second. And I did the exact same parameters. You guys can see right here, dash dash mine, dash dash JIT, dash dash lard pages, dash dash threads eight, and then dash dash INIT 16, and dash dash nonces uh, 100,000. So I that's what I did on my example test here. Um, Again, you guys can see my hash rate, it's about, it's about 2,500 hashes right now, but that's because I'm recording on my same PC here. But normally I do have a snippet tool here, a snippet shot of me getting about 41 hashes per second, okay? I just have to clarify that in case some of you guys are typing in the comments right now. Okay, now download XMR rig, okay guys? And really, it's really simple. So you go to xmrig.com slash wizard. This is where you can basically create your batch file for xmrig. Now you just click on new configuration. Very easy. Click on add pool. You know, we'll just select support.xmr for example. Uh, you put in your Monero address. This is just a donation address. Uh, optional, you can put your worker name. So rpm01, add pool, okay? Then next you go to backends. Uh, it'll be selected CPU already for your, assuming your CPU mining, and you'll you, you'll see that OpenCL and CUDA are here as well. So these are for the uh, the AMD cards or the NVIDIA cards, GPUs uh, for mining. If you want to do that, okay. Then you go to the next one, 
And then it'll say donation level. Now you can put this to five if you want, uh, but I, I always put it to 1% uh, as I think that's good enough. Then you go to the last tab here, result, and there you go. Here is your config file or your batch file that you have here down below. So for me, I'm using Windows and this is all I need to copy into the batch file if you guys want to do that. Okay, so there is actually one more step that we have to do. I had to enable the lock pages memory option. In Win okay, this is in Windows, okay? Depending on if you're using a Linux distribution, I don't think you have to do this. I've, I'm not sure, I haven't tested it, but you can mine RandomX already on Hive OS or I believe probably all of the Linux distribution miner, mining OSs. But if, you're gonna, if you guys are wanting to do it in Windows like I am, which I'm probably gonna be doing it with Windows, I had to enable the lock pages in memory, okay? So I'll have the how-to in the description. You guys can click on it. It's You have to edit your group policy and stuff and uh, go to computer configuration, expand Windows settings, and then basically you're adding a group into the lock pages in memory. So I had to add the, the users in my that I'm using on my computer right now and system. So if you guys have any questions about that, feel free to come on Discord. We got gr good group of guys in there. We can all help you out. Now, yeah, that's basically it. If you guys want to mine RandomX, it's it's fairly simple. I'll have a configuration batch file in the description so you guys uh, can try it for yourselves. And it, it really depends on your CPU, okay? So uh, for me, I did eight threads because this CPU that I have here is a eight core processor, but it has 16 threads. But the main thing about RandomX, it's just using the cores, okay, not the... Uh, logical processors okay which you guys can see here and yeah so yeah really really cool here I'll have all the links down below okay my friends now I want to talk about Monero's hash rate so currently currently Monero is at, at about under 300 300 mega hash I'm not sure how to calculate this I think 300 mega hash and yeah we're not we're, we're definitely going lower okay Monero's hash rate's been going lower and lower in the past couple months obviously that's due to the profitability and Bitcoin dominance and stuff it's obviously not that profitable I, I believe it's not profitable to mine Monero anymore on a lot of different GPUs I have an example here uh, a 6x Vega 56 and about if each card was to do about uh, 2000 on Kryptonite R currently at 10 cents a kilowatt hour hit calculate and we're getting negative 26 cents a day so even after your electrical cost you're still losing um, based on 10 cents kilowatt hour on a Vega a Vega rig okay so I know a lot of Vega miners are usually mining Monero uh, because they can get the most hash rate out of their cards and efficiency for those that care about profitability and if you care about that kind of stuff but I'm really curious how the hash rate, the network hash rate is going to be after tomorrow, okay? So when, you know, it's going to happen November 30th, tomorrow, and I, I'm going to have a little prediction here that the network hash rate for Monero is going to be going up. I, I believe it's going to go up uh, higher than what it is now. And the profitability, I'm just going to say that the price of Monero is going to stay the same for a while. And maybe probably go down as the crypto market is going to be going down a bit more. In my opinion, it probably will. I'm not sure, not financial advice. But, you know, the correlation between the price of XMR and the hash rate will be very, will be, we'll have a lot of uh, indicators where we'll see profitability okay just based on profitability and stuff so and the amount of miners that come on depending on how many people are going to be CPU mining that will be something I'll be following very closely and I will I will have an update video for you guys next week uh, regarding the Monero hash rate and profitability all that kind of stuff okay and yeah so that's really all I wanted to talk about and really uh, just a quick video of Monero, how to mine it, uh, I guess, um, and just showing you guys an example of what how I'm going to be doing it. I, I only have, for myself, I only have one AMD CPU right now. I only have a Ryzen 7 2700. Uh, Black Friday is coming tomorrow or today as you guys are seeing this video. And I am probably may buy some AMD CPUs. Uh, so I, I do want to build some test rigs 
and I'm also going to be using utilizing those to mine Monero, possibly. Uh, we'll see. But I would love to know if you guys are going to be mining Monero. I know there are a few community members on my Discord and in the community are that are pretty hyped about Monero and the CPU mining aspect uh, for Random X uh, implementation. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. All the links are down below on how to mine it and I'll have an example batch file that I used on my Ryzen 7 2700. But anyways, my friends, thank you for watching. Smash the like button and feel free to use my Amazon affiliate links down below. It helps me, helps out the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.